Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. It's great to have you here. You know, one of the, the wonderful things about going through a, a book nonstop, like we are with Psalms right now, is you see the, the totality of Scripture. And sometimes it's easy to think, well, Psalms is all the, the good moments. It's all just the, the moments of praise and look at how great God is. Look at how wonderful life is. But it's not. There's moments where Psalms are full of just difficulty and mourning and grieving and frustration and confusion and sorrow and mourning. And we get to see how the psalmist models a response and how we can learn how to navigate the difficult moments of life. And, and today, as we look at Psalm chapter 43, that's what we see. Because in, in verse 2, uh, the psalmist says, why do I go about mourning? It's because of the oppression of the enemy. It, there's, there's this grief and sorrow because of whatever this oppression was. Whoever was, was coming at the psalmist here, whoever was attacking or, or criticizing or condemning or, or making their life difficult. There's mourning, there's grief, there's confusion all tied up here. But I share this because I love the response. I love the, the path forward that's modeled for us. When we're in that place of confusion, of frustration, of grief, of, of maybe all of those emotions being mixed together, sometimes we can go, where do I go from here? Well, listen to, to verse 3, what he says. He says, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill, O God, into your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of the Lord, to God my exceeding joy. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. See, he says that, that even in the midst of this oppression, this, this frustration, this confusion and mourning and grief, he says, God, send out your light and your truth. And, and I was thinking about that. I was thinking about the, the submission that that statement makes. Because the psalmist says, send out your light. Well, that's the, the thing to guide us, to give us direction, and, and, and we navigate based on light. But he also says, send out your truth. And see, in that, we don't know exactly the situation that, that the psalmist found himself in in this present moment. And it, but when I think about asking for God's truth, there's kind of two options there. One is just, God, show me something new that I don't see yet. See, help me to understand this in a, in a truthful way and help me to, to, to really understand this. But the second is a, a real act of submission because it's also saying, God, show me truth even if I'm wrong. Even if I'm incorrectly angry about this, even if I've made a mistake, even in the, if the problem is me, show me your truth. And, the, and so in this request of, Lord, send out your light and truth, it's an act of submission to the God of the universe. And see, I think that's a very powerful thing for us to be willing to do, to submit to the truth of God. We want to make our own truth. We want to, to live in our truth, not the truth of God's word. But... Our life can't be driven and guided by our truth and, and our understanding, our wisdom, but instead it needs to be based on God's truth because this is the, the absolute truth and ours is always uh, affected or biased based on how we see and understand the situations around us. And so today, my question for you is, are you willing to submit to God's truth? in the situations you find yourself in, in the, the decisions you're trying to make, in the ways you're navigating the, the situations of life, of your, your lifestyle, your, your uh, relationships, how you do uh, everything that you're doing in your speech, in your conduct, in your, your decision making, you're willing to say, what does God's word say about this? And only that matters to me because that's what the psalmist uh, models for us here. He says, send out your light and truth and guide me and the amazing thing is that when he made that act of submission and saying, God, send this out, did you notice what came next? He says, I will go to your, your holy hill. I'll go before you and worship you in joy, it says. And at the end, he says, why are you, you, you cast down, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? But he says, hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. He, he looks inward and he says, after all of this, after worshiping, after seeing and experiencing God, why, why am I still downcast? Why am I still uh, in turmoil? Because he says, God is good and we're going to worship him and find our hope and salvation in him. But we get there by submitting to his path, by submitting to his truth and following that with our life. So today I pray that you would examine where are the places where you're relying on your wisdom and truth rather than God's wisdom and truth. 
And I pray that you would take that same act of submission and say, hey, send me your truth and I'm going to follow that and let that lead me to a place of joy and worship and fulfillment in following you. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.